The tale revolves around Frederick George James Fisher, whose ghost allegedly assisted the police in finding his murderer, and the locals in Australia continue to celebrate a festival in honor of this ghost. Frederick, an English businessman with a shop, unknowingly kept counterfeit notes, and was involved in fraudulent transactions. In 1815, an English court sentenced him to 14 years of penal servitude, and he was subsequently sent to Australia, in accordance with the prevailing regulations of that era. By 1822, half of his sentence had been served, and he applied for parole, eventually acquiring land in Campbelltown, Sydney, and starting a paper mill. However, in 1825, Frederick had a dispute with a local carpenter, leading to his return to jail. Worried about his properties, he entrusted them to his neighbor, George Worrell. After spending six more months in jail, Frederick was released, but George refused to return his land, claiming it as his own. On June 17, 1826, Frederick mysteriously disappeared, and George informed the locals, that he had returned to England by sailing all his properties to him. Months later, a local resident named John Farley, claimed to have seen Frederick's ghost sitting on a bridge railing, gesturing towards the field. Initially dismissed, John's claim raised police suspicions. Following the ghost's shown direction, they found Frederick's remains buried in the field. George was arrested, confessed to the murder, and was sentenced accordingly, although the ghost's existence was not considered evidence in court. The question of whether John truly saw the ghost remained unanswered. Many believed he fabricated the story, to frame George, possibly because he witnessed the murder, but hesitated to inform the police directly. Some investigators speculated that, another witness had impersonated as the ghost, to draw attention to the case anonymously. A local journalist in Sydney refuted the ghost sightings, according to her, police investigation based on bloodstains found on the bridge railing. Some theory also said that, indigenous locals reported human fat found in the water under the bridge, prompting further police activity. Despite the uncertainties, the story of Frederick's ghost persisted among the locals, becoming an integral part, of the Festival of Fisher's Ghost in Campbelltown. Each November, residents observe this festival, which includes people dancing while wearing ghost masks. The creek where Frederick's remains were found is now named Fisher's Ghost Creek.